Good morning and welcome. Today is the 32nd Sunday in Ordinary Time. This Mass is being offered for the people of the parish. Our presider is Father Suski. Please stand. Today we celebrate the 32nd Sunday of Ordinary Time. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you, forgave, you came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are seated at the right hand of the Father, where you intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated away. Receive our prayer. You are seated. At the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, graciously keep us from all adversity so that unhindered in mind and body alike, we may pursue in freedom of heart the things that are yours. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. Resplendent and unfading is wisdom, and she is readily perceived by those who love her and found by those who seek her. She hastens to make herself known in anticipation of their desire. Whoever watches for her at dawn shall not be disappointed, for he shall find her sitting by his gate. For taking thought of wisdom, is the perfection of prudence, and whoever for her sake keeps vigil shall quickly be free from care, because she makes her own rounds, seeking those worthy of her, and graciously appears to them in the ways and meets them with all solicitude. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. We do not want you to be unaware, brothers and sisters, about those who have fallen asleep, so that you may not grieve like the rest who have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose, so too will God, through Jesus, Bring with him those who have fallen asleep. Indeed, we tell you this on the word of the Lord, that we who are alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will surely not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself, with a word of command, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trumpet of God, will come down from heaven, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive, who are left, will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. Thus we shall always be with the Lord. Therefore, console one another with these words. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. Be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus told his disciples this parable The kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish, and five were wise. The foolish ones, when taking their lamps, brought no oil with them, but the wise brought flasks of oil with their lamps. Since the bridegroom was long delayed, they all became drowsy and fell asleep. At midnight there was a cry, Behold the bridegroom, come out to meet him. Then all those virgins got up and trimmed their lamps. The foolish one said to the wise, 
Give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise ones replied, No, for there may not be enough for us and you. Go instead to the merchants and buy some for yourselves. While they went off to buy it, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went into the wedding feast with him. Then the door was locked. Afterwards, the other virgins came and said, Lord, Lord, open the door for us. But he said in reply, Amen, I say to you, I do not know you. Therefore, stay awake, for you know neither the day nor the hour. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. At a baptism, one of the ceremonies that takes place after, <clears throat> after the child is baptized with water, there are various explanatory rites, as they call them, rites that are meant to bring out a lesson regarding the baptism. And one of them is the presentation with the lighted candle. A candle is lit from the Paschal candle, which is by the font, and handed to usually one of the godparents. And the priest or deacon or bishop or whoever is performing the baptism says, receive the light of Christ. This light is to be kept burning brightly. It's a recollection of this gospel parable Jesus tells about the ten virgins. The light is to be kept burning brightly so that when the bridegroom comes, the person may go joyfully with him into heaven. So the candle represents our life in Christ, the state of grace in our soul. The liveliness of our relationship with God is like the flame that we need to keep burning brightly. Because as Jesus says in the gospel, we need to stay awake, keep our lamps lit, for we know neither the day nor the hour. We know not when Jesus will return to judge the living and the dead, and we know not the final hour of our lives. So how do we keep the flame of faith, the flame of grace, the flame of our love for God burning brightly? when so many things are like whipping winds trying to blow it out. The world in which we live is a windy place for the fire of faith. But God will enable us to persevere. He will enable us to keep the flame of faith burning brightly if we persevere and if we are careful, if we deliberately strive to keep that flame alive. The first reading from Wisdom says that wisdom is found by those who love her and by those who seek her, who make an effort to get to know God, who persevere in their relationship with God in good times and in bad. Those are the ones whose flames remain lit despite the winds of anxiety and stress in this world. We need to resolve ourselves to daily prayer, spending time with the Lord so that he can energize us and we can keep our relationship with him alive. Because if we don't, if we're lax, if we leave our relationship with God only to those times when we feel that we need him or leave it solely to major holidays or simply Sunday mass, we run the risk of being like those foolish virgins who fell asleep and let their lamps burn out. Because ultimately, we cannot rely on anyone else in our relationship with God. When the bridegroom was coming, those foolish virgins woke up and they wanted the wise virgins to give them their oil. Give us the oil, because our lamps are going out. 
And it wasn't unkind of the wise virgins not to do it. It was representative of the fact that no one else can get to know God for us. No one else can live our relationship with the Lord for us. We have to foster it ourselves. Of course, we, God is always there offering his grace, drawing us closer, giving us inspirations to come closer and closer to him. But it's up to us to respond. Let's ask the Lord to help us to persevere no matter how strong the wind may be, no matter how difficult our lives may become or the world around us may become, to place our relationship with God first, to utilize the means that he offers us, the sacraments, the rosary, personal prayer, healthy relationships with other people of faith, scriptural reading, spiritual reading, the lives of the saints. All these are the fuel that God gives us to keep the flame of faith alive. And we stand together now and profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Today's psalm assures us that God is near to those who call on him. Confident of this, we turn to the Lord for our needs. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For the Holy Father, Pope Francis, for our bishops, priests, and all the faithful, may we lead lives worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear, hear our, prayer. our prayer. That the veterans who give service to our country receive the honor and appreciation they are due. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For couples entering the sacrament of matrimony, may they find strength from God and the support of family and friends. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For families who do not have adequate housing, health care, food, or friends who can help them, and especially those underemployed or unemployed due to COVID, may the family of God embrace them with love and come to their aid. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the sick, especially members of Our Lady of Good Counsel Parish family, May they experience the healing love of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who have died, especially Dorothy Mitro, Francis Domzalski, and Esther Cryer, may they share in the peace of the eternal kingdom of God. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For all those prayers and petitions we hold in the silence of our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. God of all goodness, hear our prayers and grant us all that we need in order to do your will as we reach out in love to others. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and all the souls of the church. Look with favor, we pray, O Lord, upon the sacrificial gifts offered here, that celebrating in mystery the passion of your Son, we may honor it with loving devotion through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. And lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through his Paschal mystery, he accomplished the marvelous deed by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death summoning us to the glory of being now called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your mighty works, for you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. i 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, save us, save your of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Nelson, our Bishop, his auxiliary bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Those joining us at home, I invite you to make an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Nourished by this sacred gift, O Lord, we give you thanks and beseech your mercy that by the pouring forth of your spirit, the grace of integrity may endure in those your heavenly power has entered. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. want to again thank all of you who are uh, continuing to be generous to our parish uh, throughout this difficult time. Uh, your assistance is greatly appreciated and much needed. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Our prayer to St. Michael. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And to thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and the other evil spirits who prowl about the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. Trinity, Father, Son.